David Clement. I'm a uh, extension specialist with the Maryland Extension Home and Garden Information Center. And today we're going to talk a little bit about bacteria leaf scorch. Uh, bacteria leaf scorch is a disease of many shade trees, but we seem to see it mainly on oaks, pin oaks and red oaks. Uh, and the symptoms start out as a scorching or as a browning around the edges, really. And the bacterium actually blocks the vascular tissue, the xylem vessels, the water conducting uh, vessels from the roots to the leaves. And that's why we get that browning or that leaf scorch. It's spread by a leaf hopper, tree hopper, uh, some spittle bugs. Uh, primarily these leaf hoppers that are called sharpshooters. And when they feed, they inject the bacterium into the vessels and it's carried up through the tree. And because it's uh, fed upon in different parts of the tree, it's sort of erratic or irregular as to where it shows up. So it shows up uh, mainly on the lower parts of the tree first and on the interior and then works its way out. So it's not all from the top down, it's not all from the bottom up, it's sort of scattered. And it's an irregular pattern of scorching and, and green on the tissue. And we see uh, basically when we have a, a drought situation at the end of the summer like this, we see more uh, severe symptoms because it's just a drought stress at that point. The, the water vessels are just plugged up. So on a tree like this, for example, on these leaves, you still see quite a bit of green, but you'll see the margins have irregular brown patches on them. And that's the scorch or the marginal necrosis. And when we, when we zoom in and out, and when we see trees from a distance now at this time of the year, you can actually spot oaks especially that have this symptom scattered through the crown of the tree. Uh, the management of this disease is really difficult because we really can't control the leaf hoppers. Uh, it's difficult to control air spread. And the chemicals um, that we have for control of the bacterium really aren't that effective. Um, antibiotics have been used experimentally in the past and they do give some remission of symptoms but they really don't cure the disease once the antibiotics begin to break down. However, the trees do seem to last a while. They seem to last anywhere between five and 10 years in the landscape. Uh, it's, they last longer if you prune out some of the dead limbs and prune out some of the dying tissue. But eventually you do see scattered dieback and, and death of the limbs on uh, landscape trees like this. And eventually you may have to remove a tree that's been badly damaged.